What it is, YouTube, it's your boy, Easy. I'm finally back with a new video. It's been a minute. Um, I just been chilling. Not really um, messing with cars and doing all this stuff, shooting content. Um, if I ain't got nothing to shoot, I'm not, I'm not gonna shoot nothing. But if you go check out my boy Swag Gatsby's um, page, you see um, he got me back motivated. I just um, got done doing his um, Dakota Digital gauges and his dash and stuff like that uh, i think we gotta do some more stuff also so y'all go check that out i'm gonna try to put somewhere in here um a link to his his page but today i'm um, jumping back on the money as you can see i'm, I'm inside the money carlo i'm um, get this camera turned around all right got the camera turned around uh finally crunk up the money carlo it's been a while since i crunk it up or did anything with it the last time i drove it um, the transmission was acting up like it didn't want to shift um, and I just kind of just parked it and left it right there uh, I think the transmission still need to be rebuilt but I'm thinking I'm I'm hoping or thinking or whatever that it may be something with my um with this because this became you can see all this mold and stuff this car has been sitting like I haven't actually did nothing to it but this this right here is hard to um, shift now. Boy, it's kind of it's kind of it's real hard. Like one day it was easy, and then the next day it was like real hard. So I don't know. And then you gotta like push it all the way up to cut the car off and stuff like that. So I think it might be something wrong with my linkage. Um, I got the uh, I think it's the low car. I think that's how you say it, low car linkage see it right there and um i had hell trying to get it on because you had to bend that ride just at a certain at a certain um curve or whatever to get it right just to for it to shift so today i'm gonna try to go under the, under the car and see if it's messed up or something um my uncle told me to take it off and twist the um i don't know what it's called on the transmission if it's easy then it might be something with the linkage might be something in the steering column or um, if you say it's hard then it's part of the transmission so um probably gonna go ahead and ready to jack this car up i don't have my tripod with me well i don't have a tripod i bought about five of them and i don't know where they keep going to uh, i'll set it up and show y'all have all that uh, also last time i was messing with this car the uh, air conditioning, one of these hoses was leaking. And I don't know which one, so I'm gonna try to put some uh, Freon in it. I got some and uh, see which one was leaking because I got the, I'm gonna have to redo the ends. I think one of the ends was leaking and I forgot which one. I think it was this one. It may have been this one. I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna put some Freon in it. Uh, get the air blowing and see which one was leaking and uh, I could go from there, get some more ends and make a new um, new connection or whatever. So, um, I'm gonna try to set this camera up and uh, get to work. All right, YouTube. I must say, it's like two weeks later from the last, which I just seen, it's two weeks later. And I had a lot, when I started checking the car, a lot of stuff started going on and stuff, so I didn't get to record. But I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. Um, let me sit down here. <clears throat> tell y'all what happened. The uh, we checked the linkage, um, and it was loose. So by it being loose, it wasn't. It was car or whatever. So pops tightened it up. Um, it got easier. Let me turn this camera around. It got easier. Well, I can't get the key with me. It got easier. And I took it for a test drive. But the transmission was still not wanting to shift and stuff. So I was like, man, I probably need a new transmission or whatever. And um, like I said, I got the low car. Transmission was uh, still slipping and all that went, went and shift. So I just parked it. So the next week, 
the next week I um ran into my dad's transmission guy and I told him hey I need you to yeah my bad call candy but yeah I ran into my dad's transmission guy see if he need to um see if he could drive it and see if we you know sandwich is gonna cost the rebuild or whatever what's going on with it so anyway I went back to work that day and I came back and my pop said well he said your speed armor don't work and I was like yeah I said it stopped working and say it was working but it didn't stop working for some reason so anyway I went um anyway he said the speed if the speed armor ain't working then the transmission don't know when to shift and I kind of started thinking that me and with the white lady with the equation started popping in my head and I was like you know what he is right and um so I came in the car and I was like damn the check engine light on and so I pulled up the code it was the VSS code uh P0502 I think if it ain't the right one I put the right one in the um, video but basically it ain't reading the speed so if it ain't reading the speed the transmission is not gonna shift so I was like damn so we jacked the car up and um I'm gonna get out of here right now. Let me turn the camera around. We jacked the car up. And, uh, let's see. That cable right there. Uh, the wires were showing and they were twisted around. They were twisted, twisted around, and um, I was like, "Damn!" So I untwisted the wires, put some tape around them, and I took the car for a test drive. And lo and behold, the damn speedometer started working, and the transmission was shift to make a short story. So today we're going to be. Um, let me show y'all these. This is the cable for the VSS. It's hooked up to the transmission where I just showed you that. Uh, ICT billet. Vehicle speed sensor pigtail. I'm going to put a new pigtail on, on there. Um, when I redid the uh, wiring harness, I knew... Um, I seen that cable. It, was, it looks just like this, but the wires are showing like on both sides. Like from right here all the way up. And... Uh, and I separated them. I was like, well, I'm going to replace the pigtail. But I stopped working on the car. And I just, I forgot everything I was working on. So now I'm like investigating everything was wrong. The, you know, that was wrong before. I'm just having to refine out that something's wrong and fix it. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to put a new pigtail on. And of course, I'm going to solder it. So I'm going to show you all that. Also... Uh, this is bad. I don't know how because the car ain't been driving, but it's bad because I was trying to do the air condition. Ah! Ain't got no shot. But uh, we're going to put a new one on. And uh, I wish I would have recorded when we were messing with it. I had made a jumper cable to cut the compressor on, and we were putting Freon in it just to see if we need a Freon. And man, this hose right here exploded i don't know why but it exploded i had to make a new end i got a new end on there but um we're gonna put this on so we get some air air in here and i'm gonna start getting this baby back running right i'm gonna clean it out i got junk everywhere uh i'm thinking about taking the dash out because I want to see about taking his dad's cover off. I don't know. I might just leave it alone. And um, But I am wanting to change the interior because I want to go darker. So it may come out anyway to so repaint or whatever. But that's what I got in store for today. I got a tripod now. And so I'm going to set it up and um, we're going to get to work.
Do I had to run to the store? Uh, I use a solder, but I'm gonna use some um, connectors, some uh, connectors to um, okay. to put the cable together. Um, it's just too it's too high right now, man. I don't feel like feel like doing it, but like I said, I'm gonna end up probably like redoing some of this stuff during the fall when it's cooler and I can really design it how I want it, how I want to do it. Cause I'm gonna have to get new um, hoses and, and uh, ends and stuff like that. And a uh, longer cable and figure out how I'm gonna make a bracket and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do these connectors for right now, just to get the air working and I can cruise a little bit, so. All right, YouTube, I got it all connected. Like I said, I just used some connectors. And I got a nick, nick in. Uh, so I mean, I want to redo all this. Like I want to take this all back off, get it painted. Uh, get, it, get it painted the same color as the car. If I want to change the car color. And uh, I want to do some more stuff, move it. But uh, we're going to crank it up. Cut the air on and see if it um uh, kicks the compressor. All right, we crank up, and I gotta figure out what that uh, squeaking noise is. But I don't know if y'all can hear. It's kind of it's happening somewhere up in here. I don't know if it's in there or what. Um, I need to change the spark plugs out. So I want to put some new spark plugs and all that in it. So let's cut the AC on. See if it kicks the compressor on. Nope. Uh, it ain't working. So, uh, this video's getting kind of long. I don't want to be real long. A lot of time I edit stuff out, it'll be shorter. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the um, pigtail, and I gotta find out what I did with it. I'm losing everything. When I get everything set up, I'm gonna turn y'all back on. All right, YouTube. Yeah, everything set. Got the car jacked up just a little bit. Oh. Uh, and let's see show y'all this real so this is the cable that the pigtail i need to replace i don't mind that tape i put that tape around there too uh when i was testing testing it out but it's got to come off anyway but as y'all can see how the wires and corroded this pigtail is. Uh, which I did, I seen when I, uh, it wasn't corroded, but I seen the wires hanging. When I redid the harness, and like I said, I was gonna replace the pigtail back then, but you know, I stopped doing shit or stuff. Because, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Get the new pig to i'm gonna cut this off i am gonna solder this one this this is like an important wire so i need to go ahead and solder it and um get the new one on there so i need to get the um razor blade cut some of this back and cut it off so i'm gonna try to get y'all set up the best way i can and i'm gonna start doing that good job These color wires, uh, this is a purple, white, and a green, black. Yeah, it's the same color here on the um, wiring harness. Purple, white, and uh, green, black. Even though it's a little discolored, but you can tell what it is.
All right, YouTube. Got it all. I'm gonna tape up that too. I think I got some more. Um, uh, what's this junk called? I forgot what it's called. But anyway, uh, I think I got some. I'm gonna put some around there. Put some tape. More tape. But it's hot. But this um, we got that fixed. Got the pigtail on. Um, still having some trouble with the air conditioning. Um, while I was doing that, I was thinking about um, I don't know if this ground is good. This ground goes to the relay for the fans. And when I was when I, was, I don't know if I had the car crank long enough for the fans to kick on, but. I'm gonna let the car down once I finish that under there and just leave it on and see if the fans kick. I don't know if something's wrong with the relay and it ain't kicking no ground over there. And that's why the other side is not getting the power. So I'm gonna jump it to the ground and see if it, it kicks on. And um, I'm gonna try that and I'm finish up that. And probably make a video on this. I know y'all been waiting on this. The OBS is painted dirty right now but um i'm gonna make a video on that and um that's it for right now like i said um we'll clean all this stuff out you know see how much stuff i got in the trunk and um get all this stuff i'll go take it to the storage and start cleaning the car up uh, like i said carpet's coming out i think i want to go darker darker interior so I might put this carpet up for sale. It's practically brand new. Just need to be vacuumed. And uh, yeah, and try to get this car to a paint shop to see if what can be fixed can, can be fixed. Like my door panels, not door panel, but my door jams, look at all that. Like all that need to be fixed. Um, also, I want to see about I don't mind the IROCs. They they are alright. I do want to get some more rims. But you see how inside when I had my paint person paint them, he didn't paint the inside like I don't know. But I wanna see about getting them sandblasted and then just repainted. Get all the chrome peeling off and get them smooth with a sandblaster. They can do that. And um Yeah. And repaint them. And you know, because the tires are brand new. Also, uh, all the trim. I just found out about the trim lady. So I wanna take all the trim off and get a quote, see how much all that costs to get the trim redone. All the window trim getting shiny. Get all that shiny. And um, I think I need a spot right here that was supposed to get fixed when the car got painted. It leaks right there. So it's a, it's a couple of things that need to be done. Like I said, I'm trying I'm trying to jump back on it and so I can ride. Well, I can ride now, but um, try to get some air so I can really ride and just um, get out get out get out on the scene. So, but y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm coming. I'm start coming back with some more videos. Like I said, I gotta do one on OBS and then um, gonna do some more on the Monte Carlo. So I'm out.